All right, Saturday, it's been a minute. I, uh, been working, heat, have to adjust to the heat, it's very hot all day long, not an air-conditioned shop, by any means, and, uh, by the time I get home, man, I'm beat. And then I get my shit together to get over to the gym before they close, as in my opinion, a lot of gyms nowadays, they close what I would consider to be early, you know, nine o'clock, shit like that, that's early. Anyway, so typically by the time I get home and I, I get to the gym, I've really been hitting it really hard lately. I'm trying to you know, make some gains or regain some gains and it's working very well. But uh, it's tough, man. As you get older, it gets tougher. It's harder. You don't recover the same. Everything happens at a slower rate. And you just don't have the same enthusiasm or you may have the same desire maybe, but you don't have, you don't always have the goods uh, like you used to have to pursue it. it doesn't mean you can't pursue it you can still pursue the hell out of it you can still you can still get it so that's that's why I always say small steps to the moon you know, do not despise small beginnings do you know where that where that comes from do not despise small beginnings you know my version of that is small steps to the moon you know, and I've seen uh, I've seen that when people take on diets and things, that they're not, they have the desire, but they're, they, they're not completely mentally prepared for what it really is. And some people, it's not difficult. Other people, it's a big change. It's a huge change. And uh, it's, it's difficult. So you know, my advice would be hang in there, you know, hang in there. If you fall off the wagon and you stumble and um, pick back up, dust yourself off, and get going. Remember, like I've always said, there's no shame in falling down and, you know, skinning your knees and bleeding a little, maybe even shed a tear. Who, get, You know, not nobody's going to care for it, but you might shed a tear or something. But as long as you're making your way back up to your feet, as long as you know you got to get back up and keep moving, that's what matters. That's what matters, that you keep on moving. Keep on moving. It's hard to beat a man that doesn't give up and doesn't quit. You know, hard to beat anybody that doesn't quit. Uh, you know, you, you may lose a battle here or there momentarily, and you may take some hits, but you, how do you lose the war if, if you never disengage? You know, so you keep on going until the end, until it's truly over. You know, until it's truly over, until they got the top of the box nailed shut, uh, if you're going in a coffin like a vampire, or if uh, maybe you got something fancier in mind, nice and cush box that you're never even going to realize to appreciate. And they slam the lid on it and throw the dirt over it. That's when it's too late. That's when it's over. I was going to go to the gym. Uh, they close at 4 o'clock. Saturday, close at 4 o'clock. This is what I'm saying. What, what, we're devolving. What the hell? Gym closes 4 o'clock on Saturday? Are you joking me? Saturday night should be gym night, man. But uh, that's the society we're in. But if I go, I'm going to have to ride the Burl Sportster because, um, which is fine, it's legal, it's tagged, all that jazz and short, but uh, my bike, it's, it's back there behind me. My bike right now, my starter finally took a dump. So, you know, I put that little starter button on it and I'll tell you what, it bought some time. It absolutely bought some time, truly believe that shit. But it, it, it can't muster anymore. I rode it to the gym this past week and uh, somebody up above is looking out for me. It didn't leave me any place, but uh, I got home here. Uh, I had a few close calls with it, not wanting to start because of that starter, but got home here, washed it, cleaned it all up finally, polished it up, and she'll start no more. So I got a starter coming, I already ordered it from Dennis Kirk. We'll see how fast that gets here. So I got a nice chrome starter, it's an upgrade. It's a bigger starter, bigger motor. I have room for it. And that'll put that one back on the road again, back together. And I'm gonna replace that that forward uh, rocker box cover, that upper cover where that chrome's messed up. I'm just gonna put a new one on there. I'm gonna do that too at the same time. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's what's happening. And like I said, I was getting ready to go to the gym, but I've been going so much and hitting it so hard and so heavy. I want to start the video some of that in the gym actually because I've been
been doing some of these uh, some of these things. You know, I've been getting pretty heavy with, and I, I'd like to get some video of some of that. Um, some of these exercises, especially certain triceps exercises, uh, and it rings true with other body parts and muscles, but triceps. I think I know a thing or two about building triceps and uh, certain exercises that I favor for overall mass building, they don't really, the magic doesn't really occur until you, until you get into the heavier weight. You gotta be using heavy weight. If you're using heavier weight, you can make something happen with it. This camera, man. There we go. I can't see, everything's blurry. Well, eventually I'll submit and go ahead and get glasses, you know, besides reading glasses, but. Anyway, so I decided, you know, I need the recovery. If I go to the gym and do more back, you know, I've been blasting it kind of hard with the, with the training, so probably could use an extra recovery day. So uh, I am drinking some pre-workout. What I think I am going to do is I'm going to do some bench pressing and I'm going to warm up with some light weight and then I'm only going to do singles or doubles, doubles or singles, no more than triple tops. Because I find it with my shoulder, you know, I've had a slap tear, complete slap tear. It was bad. It took like seven months to heal up enough that I could even do anything with the arm. Uh, that was, that's been a few years now. But um, if, if I'm trying to hit reps, I'm better off to do singles or doubles. Once I start to get into some decently heavy weight, you know, and that's all relative and subjective. Whatever's heavy for you is heavy. If, if I, I'm, I'm far better off to do, you know, uh, 315, 365, perhaps 405 for a single or a double or triple or whatever have you, I'm better off to do that, probably, probably singles once I get, to be real, once I get over 340 or so, I'm probably better off just sticking to singles and having adequate rest between sets because of the shoulder, because of the shoulder. It can do that, but what it can't do is, for example, it's not gonna let me sit there if I have 315 on there and I decide, oh, I feel strong, this is light. I'm gonna try and do some you know, 13 rep sets or 15 rep sets or whatever the hell, 10 rep sets, whatever, right? Uh, it doesn't like that shit. That's where it's getting into problems. I'm absolutely better off just to single up. So what I'm trying to do is uh, put some heavy weight on there to get that, that stress from that heavy weight load the muscle with that weight, but um, avoid injury. And then after, you know, if I'm using flat bench as my primary mass builder with a bar, after that exercise, then I can pick up the pace. And then I can do more uh, conventional, you know, higher rep, higher intensity, uh, less rest time between sets and uh, type of movements, you know because I'm not moving max poundages. I'm moving as much weight as I can within that rep range. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's what works best for me. That and equine joint liniment, joint ointment, equine. It's for horses. You can go to Tractor Supply, if you have something of that equivalent, and they have several different kinds. They have several different kinds, and um, you know uh, they usually have at least three different strengths. They have like a a lesser hot one, a medium hot one, and a hot hot one. And I, I recommend you get the hot hot one to get the most for your dollar, and then just use a very use a very sparingly small amount. Apply it to whatever you've got going on, elbow tendonitis, shoulder, whatever, prior to your working out. And you'll feel that burn get in there, it'll heat it up, you know. I would say if, if you really rub it in and you get it in there, um, hopefully you're, you're gonna be working out. You're not gonna just think you're gonna lay around and rest because it's gonna burn like a bastard. But the ingredients that are in it and the potency that it has is not reproduced or replicated uh, in any over-the-counter human-grade product. You know, I figure if it's good enough for a 1,500-pound, 1,000-pound horse standing around on his joints, yeah, I've been doing it for, I don't know, long, long time, since the early 2000s. And it's, it's made a radical difference in my, in my weight training, radical difference. Actually, I think the first time I ever did it was probably about 2000 or maybe 99 even. So between that and the approach that I'm following right now, things seem to be working out. But I'll tell you in all honesty, nothing really builds that density like heavy weight. Like heavy weight, just that heavy weight. Nothing really builds that density without heavy weight. And then you can't go too far in that direction either where 
um, you're really just slinging weight around with a lot of body momentum and, and leveraging it. You're not really, you know, once you go so far, you're really taking it off the target muscle. Uh, you really are. You're making life easier on the target muscle and you're making it a lot harder uh, and more precarious for your joints and you, you tear up your skeletal structure. Uh, that's especially true with, I see it all the time, 24-7 in the gym. I see guys doing it all the time, that kind of thing. But nothing will make you as dense and thick, in my opinion, as heavy, heavy weight. So as an older guy, if you, you don't have the joints anymore or you're nursing injuries or you have a life and you have bills to pay and a family to support and you have to go to work and shit and responsibilities to the point where you can't afford to be injured like that at work because you're older and you can't do it all. You're not Superman anymore like these young guys. You know, it used to be you get injured, you can still do what you got to do because, you know, you're almost indestructible when you're young. It pretty much seems that way compared to how you feel as you get older. Um, so maybe, you know, you might want to try that. You still want to get that heavy weight in there, man. You still want to get that heavy weight in there, but you have to use a lot, uh, you have to be a lot more conservative about how much risk you take. And there's always risk, but you can mitigate a lot of that risk. Um, I'm flesh and blood, same like you guys, you know, same, same shit. I can do it, you can do it. It's just I've been doing it a long, long time, and it might be better, it might be worse. Anyway. So I'm gonna do a little bit of benching. I'll put it in here. I have music playing. I don't know how much of this is coming across. I got it turned down low. If too much of it, they'll probably uh, uh, scrub this video for me. But uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna crank this music up when I go to bench. So I'll probably have to put some generic YouTube offered music over top of it. So that's why that'll be there. All right. I'll see you guys on the other side.